Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Leo. Um, a lot of you guys probably have experienced a lot of um, endings recently, but a lot of that karmic energy is finally cleansing, it's clearing, it's being purged out for this brand new beginning. So I sat here for a while really shuffling and shuffling the cards. Um, and as you can see, it landed here on the Fool card and the Ace of Swords. So the Fool and the Ace of Swords here, this is a brand new beginning. I feel like you are going to receive a lot of truth, clarity, mental clarity about things, which is going to really help you in um, trying to figure out exactly what is the, the next step for you in your journey. There's something here that's brand new. It could be a brand new job, a brand new relationship, just a brand new mindset. It's just all things new are coming in for you at this time. So really, really embrace this energy. Okay, Ace of Wands, very passionate new beginning here. All right, definitely that Aries, you know, alpha-like energy, that masculine energy right now. All right, let's see. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of, you, this is so crazy. Like the cards are really <laughs> talking already and just thinking. And you may have a huge, huge opportunity. Um, I'm hearing opportunity of a lifetime that's going to present itself. This is for sure divine timing, divine intervention, divine um, alignment that is happening for you, perhaps after a lot of realizations and epiphanies. If something isn't coming in for you right now, don't worry, don't fret. You may just be in a period right now of resting, um, rejuvenating. No need to worry, okay? So let's just see what comes out here. What messages do you have? Knight of Cups. So something is absolutely coming towards you. Something is coming towards you that is going to provide you with um, emotional fulfillment, satisfaction here, or this is you taking an offer to someone. You could be presenting an offer to someone. Some of you are in a space right now where you are maybe getting more into like leadership roles or positions. You're being very... Um, grateful for what you have and i feel like at this point a lot of people you're understanding that god is going to continuously show you favor as you allow yourself to be a blessing in the lives of other people when um you're able to some of you are being rewarded because you've been a blessing to other people even when you were going through hardships there's someone's message there so the knight of cups could be finally like you going out with your cup and it's going to actually be filled with the things that your your heart truly desires um, I feel like a lot of people are going to receive some good karma coming in. This also could be an opportunity that's coming from a friend, family member, or even a romantic interest. The three of wands. So your shifts are coming in. Some of you have been doing a lot of manifestation lately, okay? Um, maybe, you know, you could have done a vision board like at the beginning of the year. A lot of people consider, you know, January 1st, of course, to be New Year's. But the new cosmic year um, is, for, I feel, starting now here in Aries season. This is the very first month. Um, so with the three of wands here, again, it's you manifesting, you know, that there is something coming in. There's a lot of new energy coming in for you and it's bringing you the nine of cups, which is the absolute wish fulfillment. Something here is going to make you very, very happy. Okay. The nine of cups is coming after the eight of cups, of course. So this means that you've possibly walked away from some situations. Maybe some people have walked away from you. You could have left a job, a, a person, place thing, like I said, or situation, whatever it is for you. And now something that you really have been manifesting it's actually coming in for you. The four of pentacles here. You may be very focused right now on building the future, holding back. It's a good thing for you also as you are manifesting these new beginnings, not to share your information with too many people, but there has been a final decision that has been made. So that's really good. The justice card also speaks, of course, of... um just divine it's it's balance here it, and balance is always what puts you in a place of alignment okay the scales are being balanced i think that karmic justice has been called and like i said you're receiving good karma if you you know have been doing what you should be doing and other people are receiving you know whatever energy that they have put out but overall this energy looks really really good some of you have something that's coming in for you and you're absolutely going to want to hold on to it where someone um, coming in for you, whether it's a job or like I said, a love offer, somebody wants to hold on to you and I'm not getting it 
um, like a, a selfish type of energy. I'm getting that you have people who are going to come towards you with opportunities because they really do see your worth and your true value. The nine of wands is here. Okay, so the Nine of Wands coming under the Knight of Cups, again, you've probably been in this Wounded Warrior energy um, where you've been feeling like, you know, it has been a very long, tough, difficult road for you, okay? Or this could be someone feeling like it has been very difficult for them to get to you um, or for something to be healed here, all right? I feel like something came at you very quickly and it may have been since you maybe you know perhaps not for the right reasons of course to um kind of throw you off your path but because you stayed 10 toes down because you decided to be very resilient it's like you have this energy of being very um tenacious at this time where it's like you know for a sure fact that you're going towards exactly what you want yeah the king of pentacles so there's definitely a financial opportunity that's coming in for you um a time for you to have stability security whether you're offering that to yourself someone else or someone is coming in to offer this with you in a partnership and this could of course it could be business or romantic for some of you both okay but the king of pentacles with the three of wands it says that you've been working on something for quite some time for you to have this stability and security the five of cups here so maybe you felt like something was lost you missed out on the opportunity this is spirit's way of saying you know don't look at the situation like all is lost because some of you you um with the three of cups, there's like some type of union or a reunion that didn't happen. This could be you, you know, having some type of celebration, even with friends, family, um, or like I said, you going back towards someone or going into a higher level of commitment with a particular person. Maybe it didn't work out. Maybe you saw something as being your absolute wish fulfillment and it didn't work out. But what you're being given now is the two of cups. So the two of cups being here with the knight of cups is saying that you are taking your, your cup of love, okay, towards something that is going to actually replenish what you've lost and, and give you something that's going to overflow um, to, to compensate for whatever you've already lost. Yeah, the three of swords here. So this says here that most likely you're finally letting go of some type of heartbreak here. Maybe you've been harboring on to some type of pain, some type of suffering or heartbreak. There's been some type of interference that has happened in your life. And now it's time to really release that. Yeah, the five of pentacles. So whoever you had to leave out in the cold, whoever left you out in the cold, whatever put you in some type of financial hardship, this now is finally coming to a close. The world card is here. So with the world being here, this is saying, yeah, a cycle is completely over. You're moving into a brand new chapter. In fact, it's a brand new book. Okay. Something here is completely over. I'm definitely seeing some type of financial blessing though, after some type of missed opportunity. Some of you, there have been financial blockages due to certain relationships or connections that you had um now that karma like karmic balance is being restored in a situation your wish fulfillment can actually come in now that you're finally getting over some type of heartache pain suffering or loss you know your your energy is shifting and it's allowing love and it's allowing good energy positivity and that's going to of course shift your finances the seven of wands is here I feel again, like for some of you, your heart chakra has for sure been blocked. Yeah, you've been ha trying to um, find the strength to really, really guard and protect your heart. Or you've gained a lot of strength because you've learned to protect your heart, to be a bit more logical and practical about situations. Yeah, and this this is a, a, a practice of a lot of self-love with the Ace of Cups. And then the Four of Wands is here and the Lovers. Wow. You have a very grounded, stable offer coming in with the Page of Pentacles. You may not see this coming. It may come when you're not doing anything, when you're not making any moves, when you feel like you're in some kind of mental entrapment. It is very important for you not to be stuck in this mental entrapment about whatever it is that you were holding on to because something very beautiful is here for you. Wow. It's like you're being rewarded because you had the strength to actually love yourself and to block something out that you know was blocking you. The Four of Wands and the Lovers is falling right on top of the King of Pentacles. So for some of you, there is definitely an opportunity now for you to create more financial abundance for yourself, your friends, your family, um, 
for you to go into a partnership here. There's absolutely like a romantic partnership here with the, the Ace of Cups, the Lovers, and the Four of Wands. And this is something that is very strong. There's a connection here that is 100% without a doubt protected. The Seven of Wands, the Strength card. Okay, I feel like if, if you have a person in your life or if you feel like you're being prepared to meet someone, a, a big part of this journey was there had to be some type of ego death. And I'm not talking about ego death as in someone being very um, prideful and like honorary, as some would say. I'm talking about the ego death that some people have to go through when you realize that you do have fears and insecurities and your ego is trying to overcompensate for the fact that you're actually afraid to open your heart. This could be you or someone you're dealing with or both of you could be going through this because you now yeah, you're 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 calling judgment on a situation. You're um, allowing yourself to actually evolve and e awaken at this point. This is causing a major like elevation for you. This world with the judgment card closing out a cycle. You're opening up a brand new cycle that is really, really going to just upgrade you. Yeah, judgment. Everything blockages are removed. Everything is moving forward beautifully for you. There was some type of guard here around your heart, though. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're getting back into your heart space, into your emotions. The Knight of Cups is going towards the Queen of Cups to give them love. But the Queen of Cups, you could also... um have the love that someone else is looking for yeah and it's going to be successful the six of wands yeah celebrations good times on the chariot moving forward <laughs> and the two of cups a partnership you guys is moving forward it's exactly what you manifested so the three of wands you called in this this beautiful connection, this energy, um, and you first had to just focus on yourself. Well, this is what's being manifested for you. That's amazing. This is so clear cut. I, I don't know what else is there to say. <laughs> what else is there really to say? It's so clear. It's really, really clear. But at the very beginning, we saw the Ace of Swords. So psychic abilities here and family. Some of you are connecting with your soul family. Um, you're going to connect with more like-minded people who could have, you know, spiritual gifts, talents, and abilities similar to yours. Some of you could be um, diving more deeply into your own, like, ancestry or lineage to find out where some of your gifts are coming from. Some of you are destined to come into a partnership where you and another person both may share um, some type of psychic gifts, talents, and or abilities. Or you may have children that um, have these gifts, talents, and or abilities. Um... But I do definitely feel like a lot of you are connecting with more people like yourself. There's going to be a lot of growth here. Um, lighten your load. You're needing to make sure that you are cleansing and clearing your energy frequently. Um, really protecting your energy and your aura because that's going to lighten your load. Especially those of you who may have been dealing with issues um, when it comes to those heart chakra blockages. Because... Everything is energy. If you really want to be able to manifest abundance, financial abundance, love, or anything else, you cannot have a blocked heart chakra. Everything has to come from a space and place of love. All right. I feel like some of you too, you're finding, you're realizing the truth about your own psychic abilities. This, as you notice, this card is not going anywhere. Um, some of you could have recently had like a major like um, third eye or crown chakra opening activation or ascension for some of you. You're seeing everything clearly now. Um, there's a lot of illusions that are being shattered and removed from your life. Your psychic abilities are becoming much stronger. You're gaining a lot of strength. Yeah, and this is going to bring you happiness because as your psychic abilities are becoming stronger, you're becoming more discerning, more wise. You're creating boundaries. You're cutting out things in your life that no longer serve you. This is leading you, of course, to the happiness that you've been working so hard to manifest. Psychic abilities is something here about your spiritual gifts. They're making they're making way for you to move in a brand new direction here. Not everyone is psychic, but um, justice is here. It's like you are becoming more empowered. Yeah, look at this empowerment, clarity, 
healing and dreams. So some of you could be receiving psychic downloads through dreams. Um, truth here. Something that for sure about like your third eye and your crown chakra. Some of you definitely could be having dreams. If there's been any type of dark magic illusions or anything projected towards you to stop you from stepping into a time in your life where you are tapped into your psychic gifts, talents, abilities, or this heightened awareness, like that's all being cleared away. You're going to find yourself being very empowered. That's also this Aries energy. So some of you, no matter how soft or feminine you may be, whether male or female, there's a, a really good balancing act now of the feminine energy. So right now we're right at, the, you know, Pisces season just ended going into Aries season. So that is that Alpha Omega energy. Okay. Um, it's like you're you're right in between worlds. You're, you're crossing like the burning sands into this new energy and the energy is shifting in such a major way right now that I don't know that there's this universal truth that's coming that's just going to set a lot of people free yeah it's going to bring you peace and allow you to forgive things from your past so that you can actually move into a commitment with yourself as well as um, higher levels of commitment with other people but I really don't even know what else to say <laughs> Because this is so straightforward. It's just, it's good vibes. The Three of Cups is at the bottom of this deck. Celebrations, good times, hanging out, meeting new people, networking for business, um, spending time with family, meeting new soulmates. Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, there's for sure an offer coming towards you. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles. So you've mastered yourself here. The Eight of Pentacles. Someone here has been working very hard. All right. Wow. 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 We have the Eight of Pentacles. The Justice card. So you had to work really, really hard to, on like a project, your project could have actually been yourself. Some of you have been working very hard perhaps to finally get to a certain place or space in your life so that you could um, have this leadership role or position here. Your, your foundation is changing significantly. You're coming into this this unity within yourself, balancing your own feminine and masculine energy, also tapping more into your shadow side and actually healing it, healing your shadow, healing your inner child, healing your family issues. And this is bringing so much peace and clarity and balance into your life. Some of you are just going to feel so happy, so free, so optimistic, just positive, very, it's going to be very easy for you to be in an energy of um, making decisions being, you know, there, there's no indecisiveness here. So take advantage of this energy. But the four, look at this. I mean, the King of Wands, the Four of Wands, um, Temperance, and the Ten of Pentacles. The King of Wands and the Temperance here with the Four of Wands. This is this is a lot of fire energy. That's all fire. Somebody here has definitely been doing manifestation work. Somebody here could have gotten recently into, um, I don't know, crystals, candle magic or something. There's something that you are learning, that you're investing your time in or that you're becoming a master at. It's bringing you balance here. It's like you're going to be the leader of the pack, but you also have a person coming towards you. For some of you, this king of wands is someone who's coming towards you. And you're going to celebrate with this person. This person is going to celebrate you because they know that you're chosen and they also are chosen. The Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, this is the part you have a person coming towards you that you perhaps will like marry and build a, a solid future in life with. Like something very long term. Yes. Nine of Wands and the Lovers. This is someone, though, that is going to come in, I feel, rather quickly. Um, but it's going to be a very, very fun, flirty, passionate connection. This is a lot of fire. I mean, a lot of fire.
somebody here could have been a little bit confused before about their path, about their journey. Um, and I feel like someone here has for sure, they learned about the law of attraction. They've learned about manifestation. They've taken their, their prayer life to the next level, the five of swords, feeling conflicted here about something, but then going into an awakening. So like I said before, there was something that had you or someone you're connected to or about to connect with in this wounded warrior type of energy. And it, it only pushed them to be stronger. Yeah, someone here pushed past the illusions, pushed past their fears, their the shadow aspect of themselves that had them stuck in some type of cycle. You guys, I, um, I'm in a different space. And my ceilings are really, really high. I feel like I'm echoing. So if I am, please bear with me. I'll try to figure out <laughs> what I need to do about, about that situation. Ace of Pentacles. You guys are about to like have an offer where you truly... This is like the business opportunity of a lifetime, the romance of a lifetime. It's all coming together and it's all coming together for everyone to see. Everyone's going to see you on the fast track towards your absolute wish fulfillment here. And Spirit is saying right now to just take a chance. The Page of Wands, just take a chance because you've been in this Nine of Swords energy, this, um, you know, insomnia, the paranoia, the, the stress, the fear, the anxiety. Some of you have had nightmares or you've, you know, your dreams may have stopped, but there is an emperor here. Some of you, you've been going through a, a major spiritual attack because this divine masculine is headed your way. Believe it or not. Yeah. You have a div divine masculine who's headed your way and they really want to put in a lot of work to ensure that the two of you have um, a very beautiful connection. This is a real partnership here. So for some of you, because you're getting so, so close to this blessing, this explains the reason why there's been so much stress, fear, anxiety, worry, spiritual attacks, because you have something that's worth holding on to, something that is yours, that nobody can take from you. And people that you've walked away from that were very decept deceptive, who betrayed you, they know that. Yeah. Something about you, again, your... You've, you've bloomed, you've blossomed, you've grown, you've gone from the page of the, the Queen of Pentacles, and it looks like it was almost overnight. And it's something that you have that God has already given you or that you've inherited from your own ancestors or your spiritual, your team is assisting you with. It's something that you kept to yourself. You kept it hidden or it was just something that was always hidden within you. And, and like overnight, it just matured. Some of you, this could be an investment or all of a sudden you may get some type of inheritance. Um, there could just be some type of windfall of abundance, but I feel like this is some type of spiritual inheritance. You're getting some kind of clarity um, about a situation, about yourself, about your psychic gifts, talents, and or abilities. And it's going to actually allow you to manifest like the life of your dreams, okay? Yeah, the high priest is the king of pentacles. Some of you could have a, um, like a passed on loved one, an ancestor. This person watches you and protects you. They've also been um, standing by to watch and protect your, your assets, your possessions, okay? But now that I think about it here, there's a spiritual union here also with the king and the queen of pentacles. This is two very, very spiritually mature, wise individuals coming together. This, though, the page of pentacles, this is a small offer. This is something here that either you, you've kept to yourself or you need to keep to yourself. If you guys have not met this person or you've recently met this person, this situation will move forward as long as you keep your business to yourself. This is something that many people are going to want to watch and monitor and try to attack. Okay, yeah, Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Two of Wands here. And then you have the Death with the Tower and the Nine of Wands and the Hangman. Okay, yeah, it, for some of you, there's a, a lot of strong telepathic communication with you and a person. It's 100% um, a spiritual connection that's meant to change your life completely. It's meant to challenge all of your beliefs. But now you're going to have to learn that 
it's it's safe for you to love and to give and to receive. You don't have to be paranoid. Okay, this this cycle of your life is over. You have wish fulfillment here. You're protected because of your spiritual ranking. You're very strong. Like spirit has already seen you get rid of so much baggage. You've cut out so many people. You've healed yourself. Maybe you've helped heal other people. It's like now it's time for you to really have fun, to be passionate and have wish fulfillment. The heartbreak is over. The success is yours. Like judgment, you made it. So yes, your shifts are coming in. There's nothing for you to worry about. Even if it seems like it's moving slowly, it's okay. You're not at a crossroads. There was just something here that you had to... There were delays that you had to take some time out in order for you to see the truth about some type of past deception here. The moon. Someone was juggling you or you were juggling or someone wasn't very honest about who who they were or what they were worshiping or what they were doing their their truth their morals their values you're getting clarity about this now and it may be disappointing but as you rest you rejuvenate and you heal forgive yourself forgive this person for all of the conflict the chaos the competition and the drama this is going to really allow you to free yourself from some type of illusions here and now new love will come towards you the knight of cups with the empress New love comes towards you now that you actually see, yeah, a new love with someone here who wants to actually build with you. Now that you see the truth, there's something from your past was, it was a lie. It was an illusion. You were giving a person like some type of halo effect or reading into a situation, looking at it with rose colored glasses. Now your third eye is opening. So the illusions are gone. Yeah, you're getting clear here about the fact that something here was a, a major disappointment to you. Some of you also are needing to recognize that it's okay for you to admit that something actually hurts you. Some of you have been carrying some type of heartache or pain for a very long time and you've been pretending that this hurt, this, this thing, it didn't hurt you, but it did. And what it did is it caused a lot of instabilities in your life because you weren't able to heal. Your heart chakra was blocked. Now you're forgiving yourself. For the fact that you allow someone to perhaps put you in some type of competition. You're seeing the truth now. Your third eye is wide open. You're also seeing too that there's family issues here. You've allowed yourself to be in certain situations or connections because of things that could have happened in your childhood. There's just a lot of... Honestly, this is ending a cycle of a lot of self-deceit and self-sabotage. That has come from a lot of fear, a lot of illusions, a lot of secrets that cause you to have difficulty in balancing life, love, career, finances, all of those things. You're now free from the illusions. There's a passion in the beginning here. So this is really just amazing. Yeah, this is being very single, self-sufficient, abundant, focusing a lot on self-love and healing. This is moving you away from all of the conflict. I feel like you you can finally just surrender. You can rest. You don't have to. You can rest and retreat. Some of you may want to go on a vacation. But it's like your your tough days are over. You're going to be so empowered. You being able to witness like your own dreams come true or even witnessing the dreams of someone else close to you come true is really, really going to um, make you very happy. Some of you are very inspirational. Like You've even inspired other people to grow, to evolve and mature. And you're going to start to see how you influence other people. Yeah, I really don't. Um, there's not much else to say. Um, this was so clear cut. I just pulled just maybe a few love cards. Yin and Yang is here. Falling in love. You're going to be falling in love with your your um, your other half very soon. 
This could be someone in your life or someone about to enter your life. Romance. Romance comes as you allow yourself to be more vulnerable. Okay. Something here could be moving to the next level. I have friends with benefits here and I love you. So there could be a casual situation here that's about to go to the next level. Maybe you and this person both are going through some type of spiritual awakening. If there has been delays in a connection um, or something here has been feeling like it was what I want to say. I don't know, like, ha like fuzzy, hazy. It's because there was some kind of drama surrounding you. And I feel like you and another person, you, there's a need for there to be like a heart to heart conversation or you're at a checkpoint where you and someone, you need to check in with one another and see like, where exactly do you stand? Now, again, I'm not talking about a very toxic, dark situation that pulls you away from the light. You will meet soulmates, you guys, and I always say it's not always Marvin Gaye lingerie. You will meet soulmates sometimes and they will trigger your shadow, but it's there to help you to heal. Recognize the difference. You will meet some soulmates who there's karma with all people. Okay, but some people will um, encourage you and inspire you to heal shadow aspects of yourself while there are other people who because of their lack of care for you, they will hurt you so deeply that it will lead, like pretty much lead you to being traumatized and forever tainted by their emotional abuse towards you. So just because you run into a situation with a person and there's a bump in the road. That doesn't mean that they're this bad karmic energy. There's a karmic situation that you both need to resolve. So for some of you, if you met someone or in the future, if you meet a person and, you know, it gets a little rocky at some point, that doesn't mean you have to run. Sometimes you will be faced with those situations because you do need to learn how to be vulnerable with the person. A lot of people are still in that nine of wands energy where life has just been very difficult, especially when it comes to matters of the heart and love. So as you open yourself up to new connections, like being intimate with someone, letting someone see that you do have scars, it's going to trigger you. You also, some of you are going into partnerships where there's going to be a lot of jealousy and envy. Because of the type of connection that you're about to have, the devil himself is very jealous of this connection. But there is, um, there, this is a season for you to fall in love with yourself, as well as finally opening up to the idea of you falling in love with someone else who very well could be your other half. So some of you, you could be starting, you know, to date now, getting back out there. You could meet somebody and think that it's like just a friends with benefits, you know, something that's not meant to last. And it could turn into like forever. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. Just, you know, take it day by day. The biggest thing is to learn how to trust yourself. It's easier to be vulnerable when you trust yourself because you know that you can handle any situation, whether it ends up, you know, working for you or against you. But a person can't really fully love you if your guards are up too high. So just be mindful of that sweet song. Somebody feels like you're a sweet song or you and this person, you may really enjoy music together. One of you or both of you could be musicians. Somebody here definitely communicates with you telepathically through songs, music, poetry. Um, it's something here about written word or song or music. This is a brand new chapter for you. And it's a chapter full of a lot of romance. Love at first sight. There's a masculine coming in here. This person is a soulmate. This will be the best part of your life. This person feels like the best part 
about being with you is the fact that you make them feel childlike. You and this person could have a child together or you both could have children and have a blended family. But you and this person both could have recently gone through a spiritual awakening. Or being with this person is going to trigger a spiritual awakening for sure. Because both of you are going to have to learn how to be vulnerable again. And it's going to heal your inner child. You and this person being together, it's like it's it's what you love to do. It's the best part of your day. You're going to feel like this is one of your best relationships ever. You're going to be very comfortable with this person. They're going to encourage you to be vulnerable. It's going to come naturally. And some of you, this person may not be someone that's in your life forever, but this is for sure a soulmate that's meant to help you during this spiritual awakening or you're going to guide this person through their spiritual awakening. Law of attraction. Yeah, you attracted this person. Your souls attracted one another. There is something that you both have. The yin and yang energy. You need one another. God is sending this person to you for a reason. Because there's something that you, you need in order to progress and to evolve. And they have it. So it's you and someone else. You're finding. I just said this in a reading a few days ago. I have to be very careful with saying this because I don't want anyone to confuse this type of connection with codependency. This, this is something that is actually very healthy. But this person is coming into your life or things are going to the next level with this person because... Through this connection, you're going to discover your anointing. Because it's going to bring such deep healing. Something about this connection is going to trigger you to want to heal from past hurts and pains that stopped you from being vulnerable. Your heart, this is going to force your heart chakra to open. It's going to it's going to teach you how to love yourself. This is going to teach you the importance of not staying in friends with benefit situations or situationships because you don't value yourself because of how people have treated you in the past. This person is going to show you something different. It'll be for a lot of you like an actual courtship. This will be the first time in a long time for some even ever that you've experienced true romance. And this is, situation is going to be love at first sight because this is a soulmate. For many of you, this will for sure be like a very, it will be an exclusive monogamous type of relationship. I'm seeing that with what I'm picking up, there will not be any issues around trust here. Your biggest issues with trust is you and this person having a fear of trusting yourselves to move forward because this is such a new feeling it's definitely giving that, whoa, this is just too good to be true. But this is exactly what you manifested. You manifested a partnership that would actually go the distance with someone who is a part of the same soul tribe, soul family as you, who wants victory and success. You, This is what you manifested. So even if there is some drama that presents itself here, just know that this is a drama that you and this person are creating. A lot of you, this is drama from negative energy being projected onto you and this person or this connection. It, it, this, this, You will know this person when you meet them and they will know you. There's not an issue with the two of you other than the fact that you have healing to do, which you're being sent to one another to do this type of healing together. Um... But the other things that you may sense could for sure be coming from something or someone else. Especially some type of dark entity. There could be like a um like a Jezebel spirit or something that's trying to come in between this. It's trying to send in mind control. 
it's, it's using tactics to block your your spiritual gifts so that you can't discern. It's a, and we're not going to get into it, but there is like a, a dark shape shifting like energy here that to me seems like it's a Jezebel spirit. So some of you are needing to cleanse and clear your energy of a Jezebel spirit or this person could have, you know, a lot of people, they don't know that they have a soul tie with someone who carries a Jezebel spirit. But one of you or both of you could have encountered a person in your past that has a Jezebel spirit. You're going to have to cleanse and clear that out for the sake of making sure that this connection is protected from a lot of the drama. Because that's what the Jezebel spirit is going to do. It's going to create chaos, conflict, drama. It's going to cause you to be, you know, confused. It's just a few love cards. Y'all look at that. Twin flame, divine connection, <laughs> loyal, solitude, be quiet. You don't have to take action here. This is a past life connection that's going to bring you a lot of unconditional love, blessings for some of you pregnancy. This could be the pregnancy of a child or um, you just carrying something new. It's a blessing, some type of idea. Somebody right now, they feel like they need to talk to you, need to take action. Some of you too, you're going to learn the importance of um, apologizing. This is a kind of healthy connection where you and someone, you can apologize and you can move forward. Apologize here. It says, I am sorry. And then move on. Let go and trust your, your angels. Trust that you're guided. We'll take action, good change and saying a lot here. Make sure you're working on your throat chakra here because it will be important in this type of connection that you and someone, you you need to work on your throat chakra and your heart chakra because it's going to challenge the way that you typically communicate. I'm hearing somebody say, you're saying a whole lot of nothing. You know, this is someone, one of you may be very straightforward. The, the best thing here would be to pick and choose your battles wisely, but understand when you look at a situation and you become confused, especially if this connection is being attacked by some type of Jezebel spirit or any other type of demonic entity. When you find yourself spiraling out of control with this person or they do that with you, know the importance of praying and being able to communicate to say, hey, I don't think I saw this situation clearly. I apologize. There's for sure a spiritual awakening happening between you and another person, though. Within the next few weeks, this connection is going to really trigger someone's childhood wounds. And it may cause you or this person to hold back or to start overthinking, but it's going to lead you to a, a period of doing a lot of self growth and development because you know that you have to surrender all of this pain and suffering that you went through through from the past so this is redemption in love for sure and it's going to bring about a happy life for some of you a family a new home you're going to have a new home within yourself spiritually but for some of you this could lead to you having a family where you actually have a home with someone there's a lot of telepathy so even if you and this person can't like touch one another or be around each other you may think about this person a lot. You're very attracted to this person. And here we have fire. Early, we have the king of wands with the temperance and the four of wands. So a lot of fire and passion. And look, we have very soon, coming soon, is a new experience. A new experience of someone saying that they love you <laughs> after you get out of this situation with this false twin flame, this counterfeit connection that was feeding the desires of your ego. Again, those are the, the insecure things where you want to dictate and control things. Yeah, so you have more than one option. One is appealing to the ego. One is going to force you to heal your shadow side to actually heal your ego. Because, yes, this is an awakening. You're going through an awakening here. And it's going to be a very fast-moving awakening, especially for this divine masculine.
This person is about to learn something about their intuition. This person may realize that they have some kind of psychic gifts. This is good. So... You guys are just healing a lot of inner child wounds. Um, you're, there's a choice being made here. It's very clear now in your life who perhaps are counterfeits and who are those royal divine chosen beings that are meant to be in your life. Some of you, like I said, you are coming out of situations and you're forgiving yourself or needing to make peace with the fact that you've been with a person or around groups of people who were, um, they were placing your life to trigger you so that you would have some type of ego death here. And the beautiful thing is God is sending you a person now that's going to trigger you to have a major upgrade spiritually. You could be triggering somebody else to, to spiritually awaken. But like I said, the two of you are spiritually awakening because there's an, an, an anointing within the both of you that is meant to be shared between the two of you. For some of you, this person may be in your life a lifetime, but for some, they're being sent into your life to help you to crack open. Hmm. Communicate clearly. Ask help from others. So some of you need to learn to be more feminine. Allow someone to help you. Allow yourself to say that you need help or you don't understand. Because you maybe you're triggered by other things. You're not accustomed to certain levels of love or healthy communication because you've been surrounded by so much toxicity that there's an illusion created now that love brings about pain and suffering. Choose a new direction. Choose to stop believing that love has to be hard and it has to hurt before you can enjoy it. You have very big happy changes coming, especially when it comes to romance. Anything else here? Abundance, yeah. So when you choose a new direction, and this is up to you, within the next few months, you're going to come into a lot of abundance. Right now, you're in recovery. Like I said, there's redemption in love. You're recovering from a lot of injustices that have been caused due to karmic friends, family, and lovers in your life. Vindication and redemption is here for you. Take action. Meditation brings answers. There's something here that you know you need to say no to. You have to say no. Boldly. You have to say no. In order to get several yeses, there is a particular person, place, thing, or situation that you have to stand very firmly in saying no to. And I feel like once you do that, you'll be granted many of your wishes. Some of you have already done that. All you have to do now is wait. Allow yourself to have this time to rest and to recover. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So some of you, you really need to let go of the past. Your past hurt. How you see yourself or the person from the past but no there's no need to keep harboring on that person or their situation it's over and you cannot use your past against those people who are placed in your life to bring about new energy and new experiences just let it go completely like if you're having problems with that you need to really lay that at the feet of god Power. 
You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. See, I just said that. There's something that you have to say no to. Yeah. You have to say no to something or someone. No matter how hard it is, you have to say no. Because if you don't, it's, it's blocking you from your truth. It's blocking you from the path that God has for you. So something here is very ego-based. But there's been an illusion here where you've been conditioned to think that because it's fed your ego, it was good for you. So I've been saying a lot lately, the collective is coming into a season where you're transforming and you're no longer trying to choose your own partner, but you really need to allow God to choose the partner. Choose the partner that's going to help you to transform and become free. And that requires that you look inside of yourself. There's nothing stopping you, okay? There's no need to keep saying that there's blockages and there's delays. The main blockage is your mindset about this situation. You have the power to fix or to control or to change this situation. There's something here that you're trying too hard to force. You need to just give it time. And there is also something that you know you have to say no to it. 